But what's up, my name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll be talking about how to install Windows 11 without the need for a Microsoft account. Now, of course, Microsoft creating Windows 11, distributing it practically for free to absolutely everyone. Something they want to do is get everyone to get on their platform and use a Microsoft account. It's becoming increasingly more difficult to create an offline account where you don't need to link it to Microsoft, but it's currently not impossible, at least yet. Over here, I have a fresh Windows 11 installation. I've simply told it to install to one of my drives and I'll click through from the start of the main installer over here. I'll choose a language, a keyboard, and eventually we get to the actual part that we need. Now we need to give our PC a name. I'll call this one Temp. Now from this point, we'll need to disconnect from the internet in order to create our offline account and run it without Microsoft. To do so, either unplug all of the physical connections. If it's a laptop with wireless, simply click the wireless button to turn it off. That is if you connected at all up until now. Otherwise, if you haven't connected to a network, you can simply click set up for personal use. Otherwise, if you don't like unplugging everything, you can hit Shift and F10 on your keyboard at the same time to bring up the command prompt window. Inside of here, we can type in ipconfig space forward slash release, enter, and this will disconnect us from the internet. Now we can close command prompt, choose personal, next, and I'll give it a name for this device. I'll call it temp. I'll make a simple password once again, set up some bogus security questions. And now that we've clicked through that, there's nothing prompting me about an online account. Everything has been done offline, and that's really about it. If you do get prompted for an account, you're probably not disconnected from the internet entirely. If that's you, click back in the top left and you can simply disconnect from the internet the same way we did right now, using command prompt or by unplugging all physical connections and taking it outside of a wireless network that you signed into. However, alternatively, there is another method of doing this. When you get taken to a screen that says, let's connect you to a network, hit shift F10 to bring up the command prompt and inside of it, type in OOBE backslash bypass NRO. By doing this on certain versions of the Windows installer, it will bypass the requirements for you to connect to the internet. Then you should see an I don't have internet option, letting you continue with the limited setup. This works for Windows 10 Pro, Home and all other editions. And as you can see, I'm into Windows now. If you see that you don't have internet, yet you're connected, and we did the IP config command, you can either restart your PC at this point, but do make sure you actually don't have internet. Otherwise, we can hold start, press R, type in CMD, and inside of here, type in ipconfig space forward slash renew and hit enter. Doing so should then reconnect us to our internet. There we go. We're now connected to the internet. There's our local IP address, and the icon has changed in the bottom right. Now we can head back to the Internet Explorer without restarting our PCs. That is if you're comfortable with the command line and we can use the Internet as usual. Now, of course, if you get prompted to sign into Microsoft in the future, you may end up eventually linking this offline account and migrating it to an online account. So do be wary of that, as that is something they're trying to push everyone to do. You can, however, sign into the Windows App Store and other apps alike, Xbox app, etc. with your Microsoft account without worrying about it migrating you to a Microsoft account instead of an offline local account. Super simple. Anyways, that's really about it for this quick video. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Techno, but here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.